Have you ever wondered what is light? We see light as if it is something real, but if we cannot hold light in our hand, how can it be real? How fast does light move? Why does light move? Why can you see through glass but not wood? Aren't they both just made of atoms and molecules? What are the differences between glass, wood, water, iron, and air? Aren't they all just made of atoms and molecules? What happens to wood when it burns? Where does the wood go? Is it still wood? What is lightning and what is thunder? In fact, what is music? And what is the difference between music and noise? What causes an echo? When a car passes you, why does its horn tone change from high to low? Just how do our ears enable us to hear? Our eyes to see, our nose to smell, our tongue to taste, and our fingers to feel. Why do different things smell, taste, sound, appear, and feel different? Why is it so hard to force a ball to stay completely underwater? Why do balloons float? When you spin a glass of water, why does the center of the water move downward and its edges upward? How does a lever work? A ball doesn't move until you push it to throw it across the room. After it has left your hand, what then keeps it moving? Just what is pushing it as it is traveling through the air? When driving in the car and turning a corner, why does all that stuff suddenly slide toward the side of the dashboard? How did that stuff know that you had turned the corner? What is the difference between ice, water, and steam? What gives H2O these three states? Are there other states of water? When you stretch a rubber band and release it, what makes it snap back? <laughs> Why doesn't a bent wire snap back into place? It instead gets hot and breaks. Why is that? How does a magnet attract things? What is gravity? Why does the moon go around the earth? Does gravity pull straight down toward the center of the earth or does it pull off to a side? <laughs> Why don't the people at the South Pole fall off of the earth? Why doesn't the Earth's atmosphere leak off into space? In what ways do gravity and magnetism differ? What causes mountains to form? And how many years does it take for them to be eroded away? What determines whether the sound of moving water is that of babbling brooks or of roaring rapids?
and just why is it that smoothly running water suddenly becomes a rapid? How tall is the sky? Why does the moon's shape change from night to night? While rising or setting, why do the sun and moon visually appear to be larger, even though they are not? How does gravity differ from electricity and magnetism? How many forces are there in the universe? Why does the doorknob sometimes give you that electric shock? How does the electric force bind atoms and molecules and cause the flow of current in lightning in brains and in electrical circuits? How do binoculars make things appear to be larger? And why does a pencil appear to bend when you put it into a glass of water? When you spill water on your shirt, why does your shirt then appear darker? If the darkness is in the water, then why isn't a glass of water dark? Why doesn't the dust blow off of your car when you drive down the highway? Why doesn't the dust blow off of your home fan? Those things are always full of dust. How does a drinking straw work? What in the world is a fire flame and why does it rise? We find that nature is filled with incredible phenomena many of which involves a curious mixture of interacting components. For example, the colors of a rainbow occur as sunlight interacts with water drops, while the colors of a hot spring occur as water, bacteria, and heat from underground magma combine in one place. What is the difference between blue and green? And just what is it that determines the color of an object? Why is the sky blue? And why does it turn red at sunset? Why do we sometimes see colors in the sky? Why are tomatoes red? What makes the rainbow pattern seen on soap bubbles? What makes the sparkle of diamonds? And causes the color of rubies? When you look in a mirror, why does the mirror reverse right and left but not up and down? If you place a light bulb in the middle of a mirror lined room and then turn off the light, will that room stay bright forever? Nature, science, and math often merge in art. How many geometrical shapes and how many angles can you see in these photos?
This Mandelbrot Zoom was created by Evan Cordell as his distinction project at the Louisiana School for Math, Science, and the Arts. As an example of the limits to human imagination, notice that you cannot imagine a new color besides those that we already see and are a mixture of red, green, and blue. For example, we do not see infrared light. What color would that be? And by the way, just what is heat and how is it different from cold? How does heat get into things? What are the coldest and hottest temperatures that exist? How does a coat keep you warm? How does sweating cool you off? When you place clothes into the dryer, where does the water go? When water boils, where do the bubbles come from? How does a glass of ice water get wet on the outside? How do geysers like Old Faithful work? What is a cloud? Why are some clouds bright while others are dark? And why do clouds have their so-called silver lining? Why do camera lenses appear blue? When you hold a spoon in the stream emerging from a water faucet, flat sheets of water shoot out. What does this have to do with the space shuttle engines? How did a light wind cause the Tacoma Narrows Bridge to oscillate and then fail? Where does the pole vaulter get the energy to run and jump? It's from chemical energy stored in ATP molecules. How many spoonfuls of peas must be eaten to get the energy needed to do this? It's about one spoonful of peas. Where does the pea get its chemical energy? That comes from converting sunlight energy to chemical energy. Where does the sun get the energy to make sunlight? It's by converting mass energy stored in protons during the fusion process. With his equation E equals mc squared, Einstein explained to the world that mass is another way to store energy. Let's listen to Einstein. The equation E is equal to mc squared. Using Einstein's equation, a single nuclear-powered electrical generating plant produces enough electricity for one and a half million homes and it gets its energy by converting the nuclear energy stored in a beach ball sized amount of uranium. In contrast, each coal-fired plant burns 100 to 500 train car loads of coal per day to instead convert chemical energy to electrical energy. 
and there are some 50,000 coal-fired plants. Fossil fuel burning electrical power plants produce half of the greenhouse gases that are produced by all of human civilization. Einstein was also the first to realize that lasers could be made. Today's terawatt lasers momentarily produce as much power as is used by everyone on the planet combined. Einstein also developed a new way to think about the nature of space and time. Physics, chemistry, and biology involve little besides the flow of energy. The total energy in the universe is estimated to be 10 to the 68 joules. Since your body converts 100 joules of energy per second, it means that about 10 to the minus 66 is your share of the energy of the universe. There are many forms of energy. During any process, energy is converted from one form into another, but the total energy of the universe never changes. Viewed from up close, we perceive a photo of Einstein, but from farther away we see Marilyn Monroe. What is different about metal that makes it shine and conduct heat more than other materials? What is nuclear radiation and how is it able to harm people? Yet fight cancer and pasteurize food and enable smoke detectors be used to measure the thickness of materials and their age supply power for pacemakers and for spaceships and warm the interior of the earth. Computer controlled valves drip water to make the following waterfall art. How does angular momentum keep the bicycle upright? Why do ice skaters spin faster when they pull their arms inward? Spinning divers do this also. And so does Catherine and Denise. And spinning astronauts. and spinning tether balls and spinning air Which fundamental force is it that supports limbs and bones? And bridges? And chairs? And buildings? and airplanes which fundamental force occurs in collisions The fundamental force in each of these is the electric force among atoms and molecules. Physics is the fundamental nature of the universe. Do you believe that a mere handful of scientific principles explains all natural phenomena, including everything that we have seen in the last 20 minutes? 
science is our way of obtaining facts and understandings from repeatable measurements. This enables us to build increasingly useful machines and medicines. Science is the poetry of reality.